Fools! Hi, how's it going? Good, how about you? Awesome, yourself? Good. Take a little... I'm gonna go around today and I'm gonna ask everyone to say, if they're okay with it of course, to say their name in the camera, what Facebook and Instagram tags that they have, why they're here, and why they're vegan. Is that a lot of information? I know. <laughs> it's like, oh my So we, God. don't worry, I do edits and stuff so we can go <laughs> over it again. But, um, so let us know, please, your name on Facebook, Instagram. Okay. My name on Facebook? Yeah. Pia Stein. Okay, and Instagram? Do you I have don't that? have Instagram. Okay, okay. I'm only Facebook. on Facebook. Perfect, okay, yeah. amazing. And tell us why you're here today, Pia. I like to um, help to create a fur free world. Yes, 100%. Yeah. So tell us, how long have you been vegan for? Uh, 10 years. Wow, yeah. and tell us why. Well, when I realized what kind of, what I was part of and eating animals, I felt so disgusted with myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I knew I had to go vegan. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Me. I cried for many months when I realized what I was part of. Mm -hmm. so, Same, I feel yeah. you on that. Yeah. When uh, we start waking up to the atrocities of animal agriculture, yeah. it's a hard reality to absorb, yeah. eh? Yeah, I didn't even watch any videos. I just knew inside of me there's something wrong on this planet. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. And then it just came to me. Mm -hmm. When I had my first two little lovebirds, when I was loving them and kissing them, mm -hmm. and then I said to myself, Pia, you're a hypocrite. How can you say you love those birds and you eat others? Mm. And that's when I said, oh my goodness. That's amazing. That's a yeah. great realization, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, how long did you, do you still have those lovebirds? One is still alive, and okay. the other one sadly passed away oh. six years ago. Oh, but okay. wow. now I have 14. <laughs> oh wow, so you went from 2 to 14 now. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and as we both know, life is temporary, right? Yes. Our life, their lives. But as long as they're here though, we're trying to do the best that we can to oh, give yeah. them the best life. Yes, right? yes, definitely. Yeah. And my birds are freely flying around. I have to clean up everyday poop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But I love it. That's I, amazing. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Well, thank you so much, Pia. We really appreciate that. We appreciate you sharing with us how long you've been vegan, why, what actually got you started, and why you're here today too, right? And what kind of world you would like for us to live in. Yeah. And that's a fur-free world and yes. a world where we don't a exploit cool, animals. Yeah, a cruel-free world mm -hmm. where we all know that we are beings and we have a right to live mm -hmm. and be happy. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate <laughs> that. Well said, well said. Which sign are you wearing today, my love? Yeah. Fur equal animal death. I love that you have little Ogi oh, beside that sign there. Hopefully people make that connection. Hey baby, I know. No one will want to wear your fur. The last video that I made of him here at the end, I went up to his face like that and he came into the camera like that. And someone commented on my video and said, that was the best reward at the end of this video to see a, a little dog like that come up in the camera. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, I'll do that every time he's there then. Okay, let me put this here. Hey, Jenny, how's it going? Hey. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's been a while. I know. I know, I know. Um, sensitive. I spoke camera straight away, so... You know, you're like, okay, in this moment, I'm not going to talk about this thing specifically, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, actually, today, I wanted to make it a point to go around and like, kind of like I did uh, a few times previously, ask people's names, tags, why they're here specifically, how long they've been vegan, and why. And it's powerful, like just here right now, and like the way she said it was just so from the heart, right? Because people are not expecting it, and then it's like, at first, but the moment we start talking about it a little bit more, the more people open up. So, that's good. That's good. Did the, the, the KJ Stewart guest today, have you done him yet? No, who's joining us? They found us on Instagram. Who? Uh, he's, uh, yay, hi. Oh, like an actual child. Oh, wow. He's not yet vegan. His mom's vegan. She's got a vegan site. He's not yet vegan, but he's trying to. Oh, okay, okay. He could be, uh, that would be a perfect one. Oh, okay, okay, and okay. okay. second process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't change the bottle! Don't change the bottle! Shame on!
You know we can take that off if you want it, and we can donate it. Do you know that that's real? I don't know what he said, but I just hope that he understands. Like sometimes people don't know, right? You want to believe that they really don't know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Laszlo and little Max, how are you, baby? How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Thank you. As usual, recording. All right. I'm uh, looking at everyone's signs and I'm asking for everyone's like Facebook name, Instagram name, whatever you have, your tags, and why you're here today. Yeah, my, uh, my Facebook and Instagram is Laszlo Shagashvari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are here. Yeah. Fur Free Toronto? Yes, 100%. And why? For, for, what does Fur Free Toronto represent? Uh, perfect animals? Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah, yes, yes. 100%. And how long have you been vegan for? Three years. Almost three? three years. Wow, amazing. Yeah. And why? For the animals. Exactly. I love it. You're like, honestly, sweet answer, sweet and short for the animals. Yes. Right, Max? What do you think, baby? What do you think, baby? So, is this your family? No. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, you said we, so I wasn't sure anymore. I was like, oh, oh. Me and Max. Oh, okay, I love it, I love it. So, I was told that we have new activists here joining us today. Hi, how are you? My name is Michelle. I usually go around introducing myself. I'm at like pretty much every event. And I like to record. I usually have my GoPro on my head, but today, I wanted to ask people specifically, like what you have on Facebook, Instagram, your tags, why you're here today, and how long you've been vegan for, why, all that kind of stuff, and if you're vegan, of course, and all of that, yeah. So if you're okay with that, yeah. how can people find you on Instagram or Facebook? Uh, for me, I'm Whole Food Vegan Kitchen. Whole Food Vegan? Wholesome Vegan Kitchen. Oh, Whole Food Vegan Kitchen. Wholesome. Wholesome, vegan kitchen. Wholesome vegan kitchen, amazing. And it's just uh, plant-based recipes for okay. ideas for uh, dropping animals. That's amazing. Meals, right? I wouldn't for say just, are... I would say it's all of these amazing yes. vegan recipes for people to transition away from eating animals. Well, I think they're pretty amazing. <laughs> yes, yeah, I love that. likes them too, so we're just trying to spread the message that life's better on plants. That's mm -hmm. the hashtag that, that we're using. Oh, I love so. that. Life is better on plants. Life's better on plants. Oh, life's. life's so you have okay, okay, amazing, amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna look that up and yeah, and and you start that. using that tag because it's true, it right? Is, right. A hundred percent. Yeah, and, and it is. Like, yeah. There's so many things you can do and so many great recipes yeah. and ideas. A hundred percent. You know, especially today when I was in grade ten, I attended this uh, alternative school, high school. Oh, which amazing. Talks kids about uh, like how to live more eco-friendly mm -hmm. and how to be Where was that? Vegetarian. That was in um, in Oakville. In oh my god, I live in Oakville. Oh, do you? That's amazing. Oh. What? Do you live in Oakville now? No, but that's oh, okay, where okay. I grew up, right? Wow. Um, so in Bronny, I love that space. It was called Bronny Creek Project. Oh, okay. And we went every day into the Scartman and Milton. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. We had these cabins and we just, you know, we learned about just like social sciences mm -hmm. and different things that we learned about. That's amazing. But we also taught these kids yeah. to respect yourself, life. respect the environment, respect life. Wow. So that's how it all started before now. It's like years and years ago. Wow. And then for my son, um, you know, I gave him the choice. He always yeah. has a choice to yeah. do what he wants. A hundred percent. He agreed to come today. Yeah. Uh, he could have said no, but he wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Signs. 
so I'm I'm so proud of him. Yes, a hundred percent. He wants kids his age to know. Yeah, oh. right? that to be on pick block games on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a grade five and heading over to junior school, and I like to tell my friends to try and uh, have a little bit of veganism in your life, and mm -hmm. I convince one of my friends to use uh, vegan taco meat. That's amazing. Uh, congratulations. Thank you so much for that. Yes. So so remind me your name. Name? Mine is yeah. Audrey. Audrey. And what's your name? Ryland. Ryland. That's an amazing name. Audrey and Ryland. Does he also have uh, like a Facebook or an Instagram yet? Or? He doesn't. No. Yeah. He doesn't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does have vegan Ruru, but that's private account. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. And what about you? On Instagram, Vegan Boss Labrosse. Okay. YouTube, Michelle Labrosse. Uh, I also have I Love Balance, which is my brand because I'm a personal trainer, holistic nutritionist. Oh, I help people transition oh, to a whole food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So I really respect what you do as well because yeah. it's it's wholesome, right? And to me, that's yes. everything I preach. Yeah. Because I also think that at the end of the day, we want to try and lead by example as much as possible, and yeah. it's by taking care of ourselves that we can take care of the rest of yes. the world, right? Yeah, and so. it's a kind approach too, right? Like I try to just do like a compassionate approach mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, because I find like that's just worked better for me. A hundred percent. Have you ever looked into NVC, nonviolent communication? No. So it's actually uh, taught by Marshall Rosenberg. He's actually passed now, but they have a whole center and it's based on that. It's like communication oh. based on feelings and needs. And yeah. it's actually so um, expansive and has amazing, like it's really worth looking up. Uh, NVC. NBC. Yeah, okay. NVC. Oh, if you just do like non... Um, Nonviolent communication, you'll find a whole bunch of stuff. Marshall Rosenberg will come up. They've got tons of free tools and charts. Like I really focus on that. Like I teach also on Sundays, compassion talk and stretch, and that's a huge thing. It's like I want people to be able to, especially us as ARA as well, like to be able to communicate properly and to be a little accepting. You know, although things are hard, we have to remember where we were at one point. We have to remember our environment, who we met on the way, the information we had access to, like. Uh, resources like there's just a lot I to know. take you in. Just in. Wake up this way, right? like, that's it. That's it. Where we want other people to get to. Yeah, well, right? that's it. That's it. A hundred percent. So uh, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much, and for coming with your son as well. That's amazing. Yeah. Honestly, we need we need young activists. I know. Like, insane, right? like he was doing Fridays for Future for a while. Oh, cool, cool. And okay. Making me signs put in Starbucks. Plastic to stop using that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he's like he he wants to use his voice, which is great. Mm -hmm. Trying to support him. Yeah, you know, exactly. Thing, like a lot of parents are so scared of their kids yeah. trying these yeah. like way far out there mm -hmm, ideas, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's not actually that way hard, far out there. Right? It's, it's just it's uncommon, hard, maybe. Right? Like it's, if you educate yourself and you try new things, then mm -hmm. you'll find that. Exactly, and all the information is there to, too. What they need your support in. That's mm -hmm. the main thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, to support him in his hundred percent. I love that he's handing out the cards right now too. Yeah. Those specific cards have been made by Jenny McQueen, and there's like all the documentaries on yeah, there, sure, like the different. Oh yeah, yeah, you have them. Sorry. I love that. It's amazing. <laughs> Awesome. I do with my business card as well now. I have, um, do I have it in this? Oh, that one's the fur one. I have it in my pockets for sure. Where? Which side? That's the question. This one's all fur. Let's look at this side. And this is like 100% vegan jacket. Oh, yeah, it's a noise. That. It's yeah. a noise jacket. And I obviously put no fur things on it because I really want people to know. Yeah. But I do the same. So with me, I have like all my business oh, account and good. stuff oh, if you want to follow me. Yeah, sure. And oh, I'll definitely. follow back as well. And then on the other side, it's all the docs and stuff, like the oh, most, the key that. documentaries to. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, one of the suits perfect. I wear when I'm thank training so and working much. out. Yeah. <laughs> it's always so nice to connect with. Like, yeah, like-minded people. Especially on social media, like there's so many vegans in yeah. the UK and like yeah. in other countries, and I find it's really hard to connect with other. It is. People that are, you know, animal rights, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. passion of theirs, and, and mm -hmm. vegan or plant-based lifestyle. Mm -hmm. really hard to with other people in Toronto, in Toronto right? in general, yeah, yeah, yeah. So never mind the like minds, like it's like yeah. a whole an, an even right smaller percentage, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's nice to you know, 
meet so, people that are actually like in, in your same cause. A hundred percent. I'm from a 2,000 population town in the middle of the bush in Timiskaming in oh, Quebec. Wow. So like I was raised in a, in a in a town that like everyone knows everyone, like everything. So yeah. when I first moved to Montreal back in the day, yeah. like 10 years before I came out on Ontario, um, <laughs> people would know right away. I'd have start to start have a conversation and be like, you're not from here. Yeah. And I'd be like, no, how'd you know? They're like, you're way too kind to be from Montreal oh, yeah, or from right. like, you're just talking to everyone. You established eye contact, yeah. like something's off. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, to Sad, me, that's just true. the basic yeah. stuff. Like, I know. It yeah. is. Like, we don't live in Toronto anymore. Yeah. He was here with his baby, but I find it's like, it's hard to get back in here. Just because yeah. of that yeah. like And now with what's going on too, it's even harder, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. So it's like, and for kids, like I don't know, I don't know how you're doing it, honestly. But yeah, good for it's you. Tough on them, but they're so resilient. And they're pretty amazing. All these kids to get through. It's true. And they have all of these things to worry about. It's worry true. About That's the thing about, about the future, right? Like, happen, like right? everything. And, and you know, unfortunately, we put them in that position. So yeah, exactly. We did. Supporting them in their thoughts and causes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, I agree. Yeah, that's awesome that he started with that too, because they're 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 pretty well organized too, Friday for Future and stuff. And we went to this one at Peace Park. There was probably I don't know, like two or three hundred people there. Mm-hmm. Like he took the megaphone and he was talking about you know water issues. Like it was oh, that's amazing. amazing. Right? How old is he again? He's ten. Ten years old, eh? But the thing is, when you're young, you have like you don't have the hangups. That we yeah, have, yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. There's no more. Or did I say the wrong thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so. no judgment. Like you're just kind of going for it. Like you're just. Of course, there's still pressure. Like I'm sure he still wants to, you know, make it good, but oh, doesn't sorry. really care, right? It's yeah. not something that like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 100%. Well, thanks for, uh, yeah, for sure. Chat. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing Thanks and everything, eh? Let's let's uh, connect 100%. Share. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, just follow my stuff, and I'll yeah, follow your I stuff as well. Yeah. And then. Uh, and maybe we'll get you an Oakville crew. You're from Oakville, so yeah. we need to start selling some of your stuff out there too. Oh, yeah. I know I don't sell anything yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? Dream, right? Is to have a vegan. To set it up, yeah. Cafe. Interesting. Have you heard of the Empowered Vegan? No. They're in Hamilton. They have a whole catered business, and they're uh, like 25 of them are moving to Belize shortly. And the two main chefs are leaving, but they're selling the business. And they already have a whole year and a half booked of people. They've got like a whole what client list and the whole vegan? empowered vegan. Okay. Look it up just yeah, in case. It might be something that you m- might want to like take yeah, over. It's funny. I was just talking about that with my girlfriend yesterday. Like, how do you get started? And, you yeah, take over something. Yeah, it's funny. You can start, but why reinvent, reinvent the yeah, wheel when exactly. you could just take something and run with it? Yeah. Telling you, and I also know a crew. Uh, they're called Offbeat Living in Oakville as well. That I met in like different veg fests and stuff like that. Okay. They're a couple that are focused on all that too. I, I wear one of his shirts. Uh, uh, I've got 99 problems, but protein ain't one. Oh yeah, it's that. so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. But uh, they're also Oakville, so I don't know. Okay. We we definitely need to connect. Yeah, for sure. Thank yeah. you so much okay. for sharing. Yes, okay, I'm coming to bother you guys. How you doing? How's it going, Kieran? Well. How are you? Good, thank you. Do you uh, mind telling us what your social media, like Instagram and Facebook tags are, and why you're here today? Not at all. Uh, on <laughs> what am I on Facebook? On Facebook, it's Kieran Hayes. Yeah. K i e r a n h a y e s. Yes. On Instagram, it's at Raw Ethics. So oh yeah, at yeah, yeah. Raw dot ethics. ethics. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. And tell us why you're here today. I'm here today uh, because there's no need in 2021, or really any year, but mm-hmm. especially nowadays, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to be using animals for clothing of mm-hmm. any kind. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're specifically targeting Dolce Gabbana mm-hmm, and fur mm-hmm. today, but for anything, mm-hmm. um, leather, you know, down, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all of it. Um, we have synthetics that work just as well. Yeah. We aren't we aren't hunter gatherers anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, get with the times. Exactly. It, and it's literally torture for the animals. Mm-hmm. Literally. Mm-hmm. And 
So if you say that you're an animal lover, mm -hmm. you should not support these brands. Mm -hmm. 100%, yeah. 100%. Thank you so much. And how long have you been vegan for, Kieran? I have been, I am in year five now. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, I went vegan in August of 2016. Okay, okay. So, um, and why? I went. Now, I have to be honest here, I started dating a vegan. Oh. <laughs> and, and if anyone knows, if a vegan starts dating a non-vegan and it's a serious or long-term relationship, <laughs> the vegan wins. Yes. So. <laughs> Real quick. She, she won. <laughs> Now, the relationship, yes. the relationship um, didn't last forever, but the veganism did. Yes. Um, now that's yes. what we want to hear. Absolutely. Um, especially after, so her influence and um, watching Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives, and of course, Earthlings yeah, yeah. put me right over the top and I never looked back. And I never, I've never felt better. Exactly. Well said. Thank you so much for sharing that, Kieran. I really appreciate that. No Thank problem. you. All right, Missy. What's going Which, on? What's she going to tell us today? What you, you've, you've heard it. You've heard it in oh, the background a little know. bit. You said so, perfectly. <laughs> no, no. Everyone's going to say everything perfectly because <laughs> it's all from our heart, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, on Instagram and on Facebook, if you want to share both tags. Yeah. So on Instagram, I do my personal one, which is Amanda yeah. Oaks. Okay, okay. And then I also do Animal Souls Restored. Yes. As well That's as what I know books. you under. Animal <laughs> Souls Restored. Yep. Yeah. So we do that, and uh, today we are here because Dolce Gabbana is still selling fur, which it's 2021. I mean, we shouldn't be selling fur to stay warm. There's better alternatives for the environment and for the animals, and there's just no need. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely no need. So yeah, that's well what said. I'm doing here. Thank you so much, Amanda. So yeah. tell me, um, how long have you been vegan for? Coming up to two years. Amazing. Uh, animal activist, almost two years as well. Amazing. You went, you went like full on. Honestly, it's just, I felt like I was ignorant for most of my life. Yeah. I didn't realize like the pain I was causing and until you open your eyes and make the connection. It's, I like, I'm speechless. Mm -hmm. But honestly, what I've done and all the decisions I've made, I feel so much better and you just live more peacefully. Mm -hmm. And you know that you're fighting for something good. Yeah, that's so, true. A hundred percent. That's people, amazing. Yeah, people need to really make the connection of like everything that we are doing to the animals, to our environment, to our health, and to our future. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Thank you so much for sharing that, Amanda. I really yeah. appreciate that. And everyone, look her up. Look her up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Ogie, what's going on? Oh. Careful, baby. Careful. Let's make sure that we get your thing here. <laughs> hey, what's going on? You're getting a little upset now, eh? You're getting a little upset. Oh, let's not go on Ina's coat, though. Maybe he wants to go inside. Like restrained kind of thing? Nah. Do you think it'd be better for him to be to have that that part kind of so he doesn't see the cars in and out? I think it's more the people. just the people. Yeah, he gets excited. That's yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. What's going on? <laughs> Sorav, my man. Hello. Okay, give me a hug first. How are you doing, Michelle? Awesome. You? I'm doing all right. Well, cold. <laughs> yeah. Is it cold right now? Yeah. Didn't the, the Michigan not not bring any gloves today? So look, we're going in between, would you wear your dog and an actual baby dog, you know? So, Saurav, tell us, tell us, tell us, uh, first of all, your Facebook tags, your Instagram tags, and why you are here today in front of Dolce Gabbana. Tell us more. <laughs> I had a lot of fun right there. <laughs> Be on the spot over there, Michelle. Okay, uh, my Insta handle is Karuna by Saurav, which is basically K-A-R-U-N-A. B Y S O R A V, mm -hmm. and that basically means compassion in Sanskrit, mm -hmm. compassion by sorrow. Um, <clears throat> we are here today, along with Four Feet Toronto, to send a message across to their CEO and their shareholders and board members to drop four. Um, there are many different alternatives that are in the market today, which are cruelty free, more sustainable, chemical free, and can help them increase their profit share they choose to go for. There is no need to harm 
any of our fellow earthlings any more when it comes to any materialistic exercise that we wear. Mm-hmm. So like the jacket that my friend Michelle is wearing, that I'm wearing, mm-hmm. that three of us are wearing, this. Mm-hmm. those are all cruel, all of free, us. vegan yeah. and sustainable. And the Algin Gawana can do that. And they should do that because that's where the future is. Mm-hmm. And we are here to kind of wake them up and get them out of this Mm-hmm. Because so that they have to use animals, mm-hmm. they have to mm-hmm. kill them, they have to torture them to make money. Mm-hmm. There are other better ways of doing it. Yeah, a hundred percent. So waking up the consumers, right, so that they understand what they're paying for, exactly. and applying some pressure to Dolce Gabbana, so they wake up and use all the money that they make to actually transition to better options. Exactly. Amazing. So tell us, how long have you been vegan for, Sora? I have been vegan for over oh, five years. Ooh, and I was five year mark. I love it. Exactly. All right. And All I right. Was, I was a vegetarian for four years before that. So I've wow. been animal flesh yeah. free for nine years. But wow. the four years I still consumed like yes. dairy and all. You stuff. didn't know. You didn't know. <laughs> didn't know. But Tell yeah. me you didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. And, I, and, <laughs> and you know, I used to I used to enjoy like having honey with my tea. Mm, interesting. So mm-hmm. that's something that took me some time to stop. But yeah. otherwise, yeah. I had a patient with maple syrup. So mm-hmm. you have me too. I use maple syrup. I love it. Um, so that's amazing. Five years, eh? And how long have you been an activist for? I think I've always, I've always been a social media activist. Okay, okay. Uh, but I would say more on the grassroots level. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a year now. Oh, okay. I started last year, October, with uh, visiting the cow vigil for the first time in October. Yeah. yeah. And Who got you there? Why did you end up at the cow vigil there in uh, St. Helens? So um, I had originally, so I, I moved to Toronto last year, but I had been, I had visited Toronto in 2019 as well. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to attend a vigil, but in 2019 I couldn't because I was here for work. Mm-hmm. So when I landed and I managed to get out of my quarantine with the travel requirements, I was like, the first thing I have to do is I have to go and visit a vigil and mm-hmm. see what that's like. Wow. And I had been following uh, Animal Save Movement mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Anonymous for Voiceless mm-hmm. and DXC on Instagram for many, many years. So That's it was amazing. really nice to kind of actually go and visit those events and yeah. see and connect with like minded. You know, amazing mm-hmm. individuals such as yourself and that's super determined of you I love that uh, no one actually dragged you out you're like me you seeked out yes. you seeked out and you decided okay that's it like I need to be a part of something bigger now like I need to start taking another type of action because I have been doing social media for X exactly. amount of time now it's time to step it a little bit further and see yeah. what else I can do and how else I could use my skills right because exactly. you have tons of skills and we need your presence just like we need the presence of lots of other active to to wake up and and you know not actually yeah not even just go vegan like in the meantime don't contribute don't give them your money right they're choosing to make blood money and once they decide to not then a hundred percent yeah hundred percent just like every corporation out here it, it it's a point that why are they still exploiting animals when they don't need to so that's it it's it's that simple right that was good yeah. Um, but awesome thank you so much for sharing that Sora we yes. really appreciate that and I'm super looking forward to see you in the live tonight yes it's gonna be fun because we need we need also we need that NBC that compassion talk that exactly. that like knowing how to communicate with people in a way that we remember where we were right because exactly. sometimes we want to forget right and like like what you said right Michelle everyone is vegan they just don't know it yet yes exactly <laughs> yeah. so that's true. what it is Get them out of the matrix. Get them direct film. Stop animal cruelty! 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 Stop Stop animal cruelty! 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 Stop
Yeah, you have us on camera. I'm like, oh yeah, then. That's so <laughs> funny. <Yes. sighs> that right there. Think about that for a second. How's it going? Down. It's a How are you? Outrage. Good, thank you so much. It's good to see you again. Yeah, you too. I love how you're stacked, like, right there. <laughs> that was really entertaining. <laughs> Pierre Bean. What's up? How do people follow you on Instagram and on Facebook? Plant Based Pira. Yes. That's P I R A. Yes, Plant Based Pira. Uh, on Facebook as well? Or you don't no, have... that's just my regular name. That's Pira Bean Sassy Kumar on uh, Facebook. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. So tell us why you're here today in front of Dolce Gabbana. So these are one of the few stores left that have are selling fur. It's completely unnecessary. So many of these stores have already dropped it. Why are we using animals for fashion? Mm -hmm. It's just completely outdated. It's place yourself in the animal's position. It's they go through yeah, sheer I'm torture sure. for what? Stuff that we can have with like fake material mm -hmm. and still look as fresh and fly because Boida and other mm -hmm. vegan companies make some really good products too, mm -hmm. um, clothing and uh, jackets and stuff. So yeah. it's just like completely unnecessary. Why are we contributing to that? And so they should uh, get with the times and just drop fur already and then we mm -hmm. can stop uh, because I'm sure they're not uh, pleased with us yelling in front of their store, but we gotta 100%. do it. So someone's yeah. gotta do it, right? Exactly. Someone's gotta speak up for the animals. So um, exactly. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. So but, what uh, would you tell someone that tells you, yeah, but they're trapped in the wild and uh, you know blah blah blah? What would you say to someone that says something like that? That they're trapped in the wild, <laughs> the animals. Um, I think that we should leave them alone and they're sentient creatures. Would you want that to happen to like your beloved dog or cat and stuff? And they're literally the same as those animals too. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and would you t talk yeah, to them yeah. also about the farming aspect? Like the fact that for the most part, mm -hmm. they're not actually caught in the wild. Like right. most of these animals are bred into existence exactly, exactly. They're bred in into existence. farms. Just like animal agriculture, they're bred into existence for our use, which is completely unethical. Exactly. It's not something we're 
going out in the forest to capture them for the most yeah. part. But yeah. even that is unethical why we do yeah. it when we have other alternatives. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop firm. Exactly, <laughs> just exactly. Drop just drop firm. Just drop firm. Oh, it's, yeah. it's so simple. Get with okay. the times, 2021. So tell us, how long have you been vegan for? I'm gonna be, it's gonna be two years in December. Look at you, yeah. two And I've been meatless mark. since November 2017, obviously wish I'd made the switch sooner. Oh, but, okay, uh, so like Sorav, you were vegetarian first. I was first. Vegetarian, for vegetarian first for a couple of years. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Until you made the link with the dairy industry. Yeah, yeah. And what then, did you see or do that made you realize like, oh shit, I don't want to keep consuming dairy either. What is yeah. going on? I would say I was 95% plant-based. I didn't consume eggs or dairy. It was yeah. just um, desserts that had a little bit in them. Oh, and I'm okay. like, I know so much about the industry now. What am I doing? There's yeah. other alternatives I can eat instead. I'm being selfish. My own convenience doesn't outweigh what those animals are going through. Even if there's like a little bit. Yeah, yeah, still, yeah. What's the point, right? Well, yeah, exactly. Because you have alternatives and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, and everything you spend your money on, you're showing that you're. It's a vote, right? So if exactly. you're if you're voting for that to be inside a product, then that's what they're receiving as an answer, exactly. even though exactly. you're being careless or it's convenience, right? Exactly, so, exactly, exactly. That's you awesome. Know. That's yeah. awesome. So for you, so for you, um, when did you become an activist? Man, okay, so I, I attended three events last summer, and then the pandemic kind of shut things down. I think I went to Regan Russell's March both in Toronto mm -hmm. and in Burlington, and I also attended one Cube of Truth. And then after that, I started my master's in September, so I think it was online, so I just focused on school. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure what other activism events were going on, but really I got into it end of May this year. Now oh, it's what, November, May, June, July, August, September, yeah, yeah. October. Like about six, 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 six months. seven months. I've been going at it and it's yeah. no regrets met so many great people including yes. yourself and Aww. it's been amazing <laughs> it's been amazing no no regrets i've been because like you can being vegan is a kind of a neutral stance you're not partaking in it but if you want this stuff to end you kind of gotta get yourself out there and like yeah make your voice or that's how change is made yeah a hundred percent oh my god thank you so much for uh, sharing that pira and uh, look them up look them up online follow you, them you, throw a you. follow help support us always <laughs> and forever Bra. All right, I'm gonna come and bother Nikita over here. Nikita, Nikita! Oh, I think you have tons of awesome stuff to say. Okay, watch, watch. First, um, just tell us what your Facebook and or Instagram is so people can follow you. Um, if I can remember it. Okay. My Instagram is Nikita with three A's underscore yes. 27. Yes, love it. <laughs> and you don't use Facebook, eh? I do. Facebook, okay. Nikita Resnick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually follow you on Facebook too. Yeah, okay, too. <laughs> For a moment there, I was like, oh yeah, I do follow her. Okay, amazing. Um, and now my question is, why are you here today in front of Dolce & Cabana with us? To fight. Yes. For those who can't. Exactly. Exactly. Well said. And uh, tell me, when did you uh, become a vegan activist? Uh, a few months ago. Yes. A, a month, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A month and a half. So what motivated you? Yeah, they have to go. Well... Honestly, I've always wanted to be more involved, but I never, I never really understood how or what to do. Or, yeah, yeah. You no, know, and then things kind of aligned themselves. Yeah. And then I contacted Eddie, and then here that's we are. A, that's so. amazing. So you kind of like me and Sora, you you scouted out. Like you, it's not someone that like took you or brought you somewhere. It's not a friend. It's not you. Like scouted out activism. Exactly. You're like, how do I get how involved? I yeah. Like how how can I actually take this to a whole other level and like use my skills and help the movement? Right. Exactly. That's amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. Yes, and we're super happy to have you as well. And we're happy that you keep coming back. And we've got tons of stuff upcoming that we're going to be joining yeah, together and doing. <laughs> the bomb. Just always. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep going. So the same way we sought it out, we're going to continue until we have all of these other, we can call all these other people new activists, right? That are taking over and that we can delegate to. <laughs> so they can continue with the torch and flame for a little longer. But yeah. Um, amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that, Nikita. I really appreciate that. I'm going around asking everyone uh, their tags and stuff and making sure that they can get followed. So I'm going to go see Jacinta now. Jacinta! I, was thinking, I knew, I, I knew. Speak. No, you're going to have this. I came around and then I go, I don't want to disturb them in their conversation. And then I saw you look away and I'm like, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> he already, she already shared, she already shared. So now I'm putting you on the spot really quickly. Um, we just want to know what's your uh, Facebook or Instagram that people can follow you oh, on. Wow, uh, Tona Helsave on Instagram and also Jacinta Vegan Gal on yes. Instagram. 
And uh, yeah, Toronto Health Save on Facebook and Twitter okay. as well. Toronto Health Save. And um, yeah, that's basically that. We do vegan hot tea every Saturday. Amazing. Where do you do the vegan hot tea every we Saturday? We do like, a live stream. Oh yeah, my so God, that's so fun. What time? One o'clock. Oh, I Saturdays. could totally do that. If I'm not already in Toronto, I'm home and I could be yeah, having could a tea. Be at home having That's tea usually at home. the time I finish. Yeah, oh, yeah, amazing. like with clients in the morning. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Maybe I'll have a coffee, but <laughs> I'm kidding. No, She's no, like, no. Like I know, I know, but it's true though. Really like care. tea groups are particular, right? It's tea. <laughs> don't mess around with the tea. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, people don't, don't always have tea, they have something else, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, they put a little bit of vodka in there. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Saturday, 1 p.m. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Okay, please tell us, Jacinta, why you're here with us in front of um, Dolce & Gabbana well, today. of course, because Dolce & Gabbana has to uh, transition to cruelty-free clothing, for sure. It's time. It's 2021. We have amazing vegan clothing, uh, shoes, bags, everything that we can have. Um, and the fashion industry is really cool, of course, for every for animals and for humans. With the you know the workshops and so forth that are terrible. The safe, what are we calling them? Safe shops? I don't even know. In not, India and so forth. And oh, I'm not sure. China, like fur China. fur yeah. shops, like terrible, terrible. Yeah, fur farms, really. Like so, it's time to wake up and transition, and it'll be. I mean, I think it's the thing to do, mm -hmm. right? Everybody's dropping fur, so mm -hmm. get on the bandwagon and drop fur. Yeah, a hundred percent. And also, like yeah. exactly like you said, not only is it cruel, not only is it outdated, but it's like they have the means, they have the money, they can transition their livelihood to something else. They just literally choose because it's not like they don't know, right? right. They're very much aware of what know. they're doing, what they're paying for. We've been out here relentlessly uh, and campaigning them and doing all these things. People like Dolce & Gabbana and uh, Moncler that have not yet dropped fur. When, on the other hand, we've had people like Canada Goose, like Moose Knuckles, like Holt Renfrew, like Neiman Marcus, like top designers that have dropped it. Yeah, so. It's time. Like they know, Definitely. so stop paying for it. Stop. It's weird. I don't understand yeah. why they're being so stubborn. It's same. It's very strange. But same. Um, same as they say. Would you wear your dog? Right. Like it's yeah. the same. It's the same. Why would we do that? Yeah. Why would we do that? Right. So tell us, uh, Jacinta, how long have you been vegan for? Uh, officially vegan since January first, two thousand twelve. I was pescatarian yeah. for twenty-two years before that. Wow. So, so do you mean that you didn't? consume any other uh, flesh and apart animals. from fish yeah while you were pescatarian fish is because I thought I didn't know I, all I read was one book yeah and what was the book diet for new America oh okay okay and I actually did it because I thought that can't be healthy for me when I read about what they do to animals all yeah. the drugs they yeah. feed them just to keep them alive to get to the slaughterhouse yeah yeah I thought this can't be good for me so that was my reasoning so yeah, I didn't yeah. relate to the animal cruelty yeah. Sadly. So I wish I knew more back mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. Now it's 2021. There's no excuse anymore. We know there's so much online information, so many amazing documentaries. Uh, thank you. And I yeah. love. You thank know, you so much. Up. Please sign yeah. our petition. Please sign our petition. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, one of the reasons I love being out doing activism is all the supporters. supporters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really wonderful. So, so tell us, Jacinta, yeah. in 2012, what made you uh, take the decision from when you had previously read that book and then something must have happened for you to decide I, to go fully vegan? I was very lucky. I somehow was getting emails from PETA. I don't even remember how that happened. Oh. And the PETA emails were about uh, presentations at the University of Toronto about vivisection. Oh. So I, out of curiosity, went to these talks and Paul York was organizing them and they were amazing and that's how I went to 2011 I met a few vegans at uh, the demos that were organized and that's how I met Anita Kreins with Toronto Pig Save and yeah. I started going to vigils even though I wasn't actually vegan, vegan yet I was going to wow. but I wasn't, obviously I was yeah vegan. you was weren't eating those animals yeah yeah yeah, yeah and then I was at a dairy demo handing out flyers about dairy just being there because I knew it was the right thing to do, but not yeah. fully being aware yeah, 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 yeah. of the depth of the cruelty. Yeah. And uh, my friend said the dairy industry is so cool, and I said, really? Yeah. Why? And I opened yeah. the flyer, and when I saw those pictures, I was shocked. And that's what I knew I had to. Do. It's so interesting that you say that because 
um, Sora, Pirveen, a lot of the people that I spoke to today were all vegetarian beforehand as well because they didn't understand yet how cruel that industry well, truly they is. Hide the truth from us. Of you course. Know, in advertising, they got happy cows and happy hens and so forth and, and open fields, and you see these beautiful pictures. They're not telling the truth. If yeah. they actually saw, uh, sorry, if people actually saw what happens in yeah. those farms, yeah. they would not. Uh, buy those products? No, of course. There was truth in, real truth in advertising, no. A hundred percent. Like, uh, I forget who said that, but if his slaughterhouses had glass doors, um, yes, no one would be eating animals. Glass it's that simple. Walls? Yeah, he got an amazing, it's a documentary, eh? That I actually have that DVD at home. Well, uh, yeah, it's only 11 minutes long. Oh well, yeah! Oh wow! I don't. Yeah, so I don't think I actually on, looked at it because uh, it shows you, right? That's why I didn't look at it. I started it and I was like, I don't need to see this. I, I already see, know. I know. That's what. Um, at this point, I really don't need to oh, see me neither. horrific video. Oh and no! Speaking of dairy, the most recent one in British Columbia. Oh, in don't Atmosphere, even. Oh. I could not believe. I thought to myself, I have seen so many terrible, terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Videos of yeah. treatment of animals, yeah. and I can't believe I'm watching something that is making me cry yeah. once again. Yeah. And, and sit there in shock and think, how could that human being keep doing that? A hundred percent. It's just awful. So, um, but thank goodness it was filmed, and I just hope more and more people see did, it. Did you see the post of the woman who called out? animal justice and PETA uh, that's what I shared because oh. I got so upset because she called out as if all of these farmers were helping the cows but at the end of the day it's like they're helping their profit yeah. where do you think they were before if anything this is probably the best thing that ever happened to them well do you, do yeah, you understand what I mean actually, yeah, and for them to yeah. be out of a freaking enclosure or, or to be like shoved away behind closed doors that no one can see now it's like all these animals that people are feeling sorry for what do you think was going to happen well i've Where? been responding to some of those tweets. me too um yes the, I, I, the, they sent responses to me with a picture of somebody saving cows in a boat and i asked if they were being taken to a sanctuary of course not. Because they're not being taken to Of course not. And then they asked where PETA and Animal Justice were to bring those animals out into... Uh, oh, are you there? Okay. Oh, police are here. I don't know why. But uh, that was a, it was a very, very upsetting um, yeah. post. And it's still very upsetting. And of course, none of us want to see these animals suffer. No. But it's the irony that all these people that are saying, oh, these heroes that are saving these animals. And it's like, why do you think they're saving them for? So they can kill them. That is like, it's the irony behind that of you not even making that connection. They're like, please. Connection, no. Exactly. Sad. Oh my God. Um, Thank you so much. Some people will. Sorry. I think some people will. Uh, oh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. And uh, and I think that it was a good opportunity, actually, as horrible as it absolutely is. It was a good opportunity to show like I went in there and I made my points of every single thing, because even on that post, they asked for people to donate to the dairy industry. Yeah. Like, do you know how many billions of dollars in subsidies they get? Do you know why they were removed off the Canada Food Guide? They know the information, the science. It's inflammatory. It's not good for humans. There's all these things. So why are we still doing this? I don't know. It's <laughs> mind-boggling. There's many things that happen that we can't figure out. But yes, ending subsidies for meat and dairy, huge. That yeah. would be so amazing. Life-changing. Earth-changing. We really have to. Nation Rising is doing a really amazing campaign. Yeah, uh, the plant-based uh, treaty too, uh, plant with treaty save movement, a hundred percent. There's been really yeah. good campaigns around that because it needs to be. We need to change laws. This needs to get very political, and if we want our world to thrive, we need to change. Oh, we have to. We have no uh, choice. Yeah, if exactly. If we don't change, yeah, and uh, like the, uh, the uh, they like to say that uh, ending fossil fuels is the only thing that we should yeah. be doing, and yeah. yes. It, Absolutely. Fossil fuels have got to go as yeah. much as possible. Yeah. Um, but the thing is that I see um, eating a plant-based diet is a thing that everybody can do. Yeah. That's what we can do. Yeah. We can point yeah. the finger at them to say, yeah. end fossil fuels now. Yeah. Yeah. But all we, of us can yeah. do something three times a day to yeah. change what we're eating. Yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be the biggest vote. The biggest yeah. vote. The biggest best thing that we can do for ourselves, mm -hmm. for our planet, and for the animals. For sure.
Thank you so much, Jacinta, sure. for sharing that. That was amazing. That's valuable. Thank you so much. We will talk very soon. I can hold yeah. Yeah. Is there someone that maybe can hold this one? Yeah, sure. Or any more? I got a whole bunch of them, but the wind's blowing them all over the place. I got literature too. I was gonna give you guys. Remind us what your Instagram is. Um, it's no. Uh, I have Instagram, but I do most of this stuff on uh, Facebook. Facebook. Okay, what's Facebook? Sorry. Kelly Sun with two X's on the end. Oh, okay. Kelly Sun. You'll two see X's my big my my um. We call it. my cover photo is she needs her fur more than you do oh, okay. with the fox on it yeah yeah well I done she has stuff about this demo on the on my page oh well thank you so much yeah. for stopping with us here are you, the, are you the one that put this together uh ina right over there okay well, just across but for free toronto in, in yeah. general have been running this now for quite some time i do oakville but i drive out to toronto for yeah, I used, to I help just here as well here. i just moved out to mississauga i've done these things oh, all over the place cool ah, i'm I, in oakville yeah. so you're closer yeah. to me then that's awesome. I just, I gave some, okay, I think it was that guy. Yeah, I, one. Yeah, okay. I also got a, I don't have a board for it, but I also have this. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's I good. this one. Yeah. I'm gonna get a picture of that too. So are you, you were running it with, where was the other lady? No, so Ina is the fur free Toronto. Get, uh, Jenny's gonna some, be. Some, um, Jenny's wanna, Some she organized a lot, of, a lot of stuff as well. Hi, Hi. Where did you come from? You're an angel. <laughs> You're an angel in disguise. Thank you. I, like I said, I've done many, many, many of these. So she lives in Mississauga I did, now. I did, um, Would you have off too? Do you see um, off too? I also have uh, the also uh, fur label, fur labeling protection act and dog and protection act paper. But I don't dog and cat fur protection act. So I've got some stuff. Yeah. Um, there's four different ones here. I've got fact sheet fur. I've got fur facts. Uh, fur farms. Fur products. Wow. 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 Holy shit. You know, <laughs> you know, some of it's typed on the computer, right? But the, the top ones are, the top ones are, sorry, I forgot my mask in the damn car too. So, Fur Farms, I wrote all that out. The Fur Product Labeling Act of 1951. Fact sheet, this is a printout. Fur facts, this is a printout. Um, the one that's the Dog and Cat Protection Act, I actually, I only have one copy of that right now. So, and I know that this has been updated, so I can't give you this because I only have the one copy. But I also have these. One's from In Defense of Animals and the other one's a Peter one. So, yeah, so, this, and this is, so that's the back of it. And this is the front. See that one? Yeah. So I could say give you guys maybe half of these, okay? And then I'll keep the other half until, I can, until I'm able to get some more. So I'm not going to give you all of those because I need some for myself, but I can give you ha say half and half, okay? So you guys have something. I'll, I don't know where you're going to put them without them blowing away, so. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was nice, and then all of a sudden I go to come out here in the wet weather. It literally, I'm telling you, you br definitely brought the wind. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I seem to bring a lot of negative everywhere I no, go. No, no, stop right? that. It, it's it's like Jenny said, your your ray, ray of sunshine here with us. So I'll give you like say half of these. At least that way, everybody here, if they want, will have a copy. So I'll give you say that that one. Did you write that that one? Uh, the two, yes. the two of them I did, but the other ones I've had these for years though because I've been doing this for a long time. For me. Yeah. So and then say like half of these. Just, yeah. So say half of these. The only type of fashion that we should support is the fashion that comes with compassion. Yeah, I have Facebook and Instagram 
and Twitter and Pinterest and Discus. And uh, yeah, I think that covers them all. <laughs> and they just keep coming out. Yeah, they just keep coming. My main, my main one is the Facebook here. You can have this one too. So you have four different ones. C-A-L-I-S-U-N-X-X. C-A-L-I. Yeah, so I have the same on pretty much all social media. There's one where there's only one X, but I don't remember. C-A, no, C-A-L-I-S-U-N-X-X. Yeah. Yeah, so one of them, one of them is has only one X on the end, but I can't remember which one that is. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that, that's me. Yeah, that's me. Please remember that my Facebook is the one that I use the most, okay? Okay, okay. And that's where I do most of my stuff, okay? Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kelly. You're welcome. The fan and sale of Far in Toronto. Get ahead with the time! Join the trend of the faux fur alternative! We do not need to hurt animals anymore! To turn profits, we do not need to hurt animals anymore to wear their skins or eat them or anything else! Join the movement at furfreetoronto.ca! Ogie approves. Saw, 100%. Oh yeah, I saw so Rob bags. Banks are like the best. He has like these huge ass ones. Yeah. This is amazing. So, so this okay. Is Lucas. Hi, good to see Hi you. Michelle, Lucas, nice to meet you. Well, we've yeah, met yeah, each yeah. other before, yeah. yeah. But this is a real for real film. This is his film. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Okay, okay, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, PR for? So probably about uh, 15 here. If I can give this to you. Amazing. So I'll just the only thing I have I to do is make the after. I'll make the. Uh, well, I have a. I actually have a my bag here. So here, I'll just put it. Yeah, yeah. There, it's easy. I've seen that it's pretty easy. Well, I'm thinking after. Yeah, I'm thinking after Saturday. That's it. That'd be a good thing in Oakville and stuff and around the places yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Amazing. Thanks for the hookup. I was just talking about that yesterday. That's so funny. <laughs> sure, I'll take some of Whatever you want. Just like that.
Her time has come, Michelle. Of Your course. time has come? Well, I guess so. Exactly. I was going to I was gonna, I was gonna go interrupt these guys, but I'm like, you know what? Eddie's right there, perfectly in silence. I'm gonna go see him. <laughs> so I just want you to tell us, uh, so on Facebook, clearly Eddie Barbosa. On Instagram, you don't really use it because we've been nope. through this before. Nope. Um, but uh, anonymous for the voiceless. Toronto. Toronto, hundred percent. Yes. Amazing. We can take that off if you like. Anyway, um, so with that being said, <laughs> can you please tell us why you're in front of Dolce & Gabbana today? Well, I'll give you the clean version because I feel a certain way about this company because they're still, you know, having animals skinned alive and, and used for cosmetic accessories and trim on the jackets and it's really just fucked. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That was the clean version. Yeah. Okay, okay, that was the clean version. Okay, I want the dirty version now. <laughs> Well, what kind of fucking monsters do this, Michelle? Exactly. Okay, Seriously, gonna, what kind of fucking monsters sit there and think that they're gonna take another being skin and, and like hair and, and it's just pretty? Exactly. And it's just it's just clothes. It's just a, a fashion accessory, like a luxury product. And, it was and they know bee. it was another fucking being. Yeah. Yeah. And they know it's not like they don't know. Exactly. Right? The CEO knows. That's why we wrote his name here. Hopefully the rain doesn't wash it away. Okay. So the CEO, Dan Rotman. Don't forget everyone, for a free Friday. Dan Rotman, we need you to drop for, otherwise this ain't gonna stop. This ain't gonna stop. November 26th, we'll see you there and then we'll see you on the 28th as well. And tell us how long you've been vegan for now, Eddie. Yeah, we don't want to get Tell us how long you've been vegan for now. Oh, well, in just about, just over a week, I think it's about nine days now, it's going to be the one year mark, actually. Oh my God, that's amazing. The, and the vegan anniversary is around the corner. And let's celebrate the fact that Eddie was pretty much an activist from day one. Uh, took a couple months to get okay, things together okay. properly. I wanted to from almost day one. Yes. But I took my time making sure things were going to be right. Nice. Well and said. Just dropped the bomb on Toronto. Yeah. What's up, Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have indeed. Yeah, and Eddie's been an awesome leader in the movement and he's always showing up to every event and definitely show him support. Follow him on and follow also AV and everything Toronto and show us support, please. Bra, bra, bra. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing. This, this, Sorav, I've got you already. Okay, please, 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 please tell me your Facebook and Instagram so that people can follow and support. Not on Instagram. Just oh, okay, Facebook. okay. So first Facebook? Leslie Smith. Leslie Smith, perfect. L-E-S-L-E-Y. Amazing, thank you so thank much you because, you, well, 100% also though, tell us Leslie why you're here in front of Dolce & Cabana today as you are relentlessly pretty much every weekend. We have to stop them selling for mm -hmm. The industry is horrifically cruel, mm -hmm. it has to end. A hundred percent. Thank you so much. And please tell us, how long have you been vegan for? Uh, since 2000. So since 21 years. Wow. Amazing. That's amazing. And tell us why. Because I'm not going to eat them, wear them, watch them. I have to do it. A hundred percent. It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. That's so well said. So please tell me, um, was there any specific information you came across or a conversation with someone or something that happened that made you start questioning this system that we're conditioned to believe is what, you know, brings good in our life, really? It's so long ago, I don't really remember. Yeah, wow, so you've just, you've been living the lifestyle for so long, like, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's, I really, really appreciate that. And anyone, please support Leslie here. As you've heard, she's been, Vegan for 21 years, an activist for? Since, for as long as that. Yeah. For as long as yeah. she was vegan. So that is a whole other ball game. So thank you so much thank for being you. you and for joining us. Please show some support. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I don't my hands are too cold. Have some fun. Yeah, yeah. No, it's Where is she? Oh, sorry. Who are you looking for? Oh, here. Talar, you you're so my much. next victim. Oh, sorry. We were gonna think. I was thanking the kid. Oh, I know. He's so cute, eh? I love it. I know they're awesome. I hope we're gonna see you guys again. <laughs> they're so cute. They're so awesome. 
Okay, Talar, tell us uh, where people can follow you on Facebook and on Instagram. Oh yeah, so I'm at uh, at T A L R O N T O on Instagram. Cool. Um, my Facebook's private, but okay, okay. So <laughs> you don't get the Facebook, and that's that. So please uh, tell us why you're here today in front of Dolce and Gabbana, and of course, someone that's extremely vocal as well. Yeah, so we're here to target companies who are responsible for profiting off animal exploitation and lying to the public uh, in, in marketing and advertising to them, um, basically getting them to buy products that are completely unnecessary and that they don't need. Uh, and uh, that's why I'm here in front of Dolce & Gabbana. We also do Montclair targets as well. Yeah, which is a few doors down from here. Exactly. Are we doing that today? We're not doing it today, but we do it on a bi-weekly basis. Yeah. Yeah, a hundred percent. And they, as Dolce Gabbana, also usually lock and close down their doors, right? They do. Yeah. They're yeah. they're afraid of us going in, mm -hmm. um, and they, they are afraid be. of looking bad in front of customers. So that's a good sign. A hundred percent. Did you see today that people keep, tried to come in and they couldn't, so they walked away? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we usually say, oh, the, the store's closed. Uh, they're locked anyway, so we can't get in. Yeah, yeah it's, exactly. it's, it's bad business. For exactly. A hundred percent. So it's just about, it's just logical for them to draw fur, to stop exploiting animals. Like it's yeah. a pretty, I think it's, it's a pretty kind request of us. And you know, we were trying to approach it from a kind way before now we've had to apply pressure and you guys have come up with campaigns and not only are we here physically, but also online phones, everything so that they actually take action because enough with this blood money, yeah, right? Absolutely. Like it, it's a matter of escalating the situation if they don't uh, kind of conform to our demands from the beginning and uh, taking a variety of ways of action, not just one way, but targeting them from multiple angles. A hundred percent. Every angle that would hurt in the end, right? Yeah. And because what matters to them is their profit, as yeah. we know. So let's just make sure we hurt them enough that they don't want to profit from the backs of animal skins and furs, right? Yeah. Yeah. All these companies have CEOs and they're billionaire people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they all have names. They all have places they live. Um, and, you know, we're not going to stand for it. No. We know everything about them, so. A hundred percent, and we're not here. If they're here to stay, we're, we're not going anywhere. So they might as well start acting accordingly, right? Yep. Um, so tell us, uh, Talar, how long have you been vegan for? It's been a little over six years. Um, I wasn't active in the beginning. I thought it was enough just to be vegan yeah. um, and to sort of buy products. But then I realized that you have to actually take action and a lot of these uh, plant-based industries are subsidized so it's not just enough yeah. to uh, sort of buy those products. You yeah. actually have to research, you have to know who's responsible for it and you have to fight. Uh, so for all of the vegans out there who think that they're doing enough, please, please get active. Uh, yes. We really need you to be here. A hundred percent. Thank you so much for sharing that message because as you said, that's number one. Like we need a bigger movement. We need a strong movement. We could only do it together. So we need numbers. So, you know, we need all of the people that have already made the connection that already know better to start activating and taking action with us so that we could actually create change. Otherwise, who's going to do it? Yeah, right? let's all fight together. Like we're all on the same uh, page with other movements as well. Like the environmental movement is very closely related to us. 100%. So let's all fight together uh, to get this done. Yeah. It's, it's, it's detrimental to all of us <laughs> yeah. and our survival. So. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Thank you so much for sharing that. High five on that. Bra. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. People really need to know. But that's true because we don't organize. We're concerned today. So really well. Well, wait, well said. Well said because that's the truth. So tell us how can people find you on Instagram and on Facebook, Ina? All you have to do is follow Fur Free Toronto, both on Facebook and on Instagram. We're also building a website so everybody can find the information. And of course, this is about the cruelty program as well at furfreetoronto.ca. And then of course, you can go to noise.com and get 15% off their online purchase with uh, the code for free courtesy of furfreetoronto.ca. Yes, fur free. And come on, like, look at this freaking gorgeous ass noise gorgeous code. Noise. Look at this. Look at this. Look at And look at what she did. There. Amazing! She's got a connection for this, so if you're looking for a connection, a hundred percent. Love it, love it, and right, right on this guy too. 
Yes. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for sharing, Darina. And uh, just as lots of people here, um, you have recently turned vegan, yes. right? But from day one, have been a super strong and vocal activist, which is extremely admirable. And that's actually what Talar just shared now on how important it is for the silent vegans out there to start taking action because just buying vegan products and living the vegan lifestyle is not enough. It's not enough. People, companies like this still exist and they're going to keep existing unless we do something about it and unless we unite. So you just have to get mad, get mad. Like I know it's all against, you know, like us having compassion and stuff. You can be compassionate and be angry at the same time over yeah. this stuff. Get mad at the fact that these companies are getting away with the stuff. Yeah. Somebody is currently skinning an animal alive yeah. so that somebody else can wear a jacket. And 90% of these people don't even know what they're wearing. Yeah. And the other 10% yeah. are idiot influencers anyway, which yeah. I don't support because those guys are yeah, <laughs> that's a whole other ball game. There's a whole beast out of town. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you have the power to make change. You know, just recently I was part of a campaign with just three people, just doing a bunch of work and sending a bunch of emails and telling people what to do to yeah. turn to stop uh, using exploiting animals at an event. And it took four days, and then yeah. they stopped. They stopped advertising the exploitation of animals. Yeah. Get freaking mad. Yes. You have to get mad. Yeah. You can't stand by and let this stuff happen because you are then just as complicit as everyone else. A hundred percent. And I would say to your point, there's multiple ways of activism. So you yes. don't necessarily have to show up yeah. at an event, at a yeah, grassroots are you event. Me? I started on social media. <laughs> exactly. I literally woke up one day and I was like, oh look, Saks just went for free. You yeah. know what? I'm gonna run something and I asked literally another new activist about it and then yeah. he literally stayed 18 hours a day and yeah. just called, you know, Red Sack on a e voicemails and stuff yeah. to yeah. find out what their extensions were and then we ended up sending 7,600 emails yeah. on just through social media campaigns. We reached Australia with our message. Yeah. You can do the exact same. I was nowhere near in the front. I do this and social media activism at the same time. You can sticker, you can talk to people, you can do outreach, you can literally post on your Facebook, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Activism yeah. comes in many forms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could lead by example, yeah. most importantly. Lead yeah. by example, right? In, yeah. in any and every way. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah. Thank get you mad. so much for sharing that. Yes. Get mad, get fed up, get, get her mad. done, get, get her done. Get, get, get your bed on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes. Amazing.